In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on November 29, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college College basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Tennessee vs. North Carolina The highly anticipated college basketball clash between the Tennessee Volunteers and the North Carolina Tar Heels is set to unfold at the Deany Smith Assembly Center on Wednesday night, marking a pivotal matchup in the Atlantic Coast Conference Southeastern Conference Challenge. Both teams are brimming with talent, and the question looms large, who will emerge victorious in this contest that promises to be a showcase of skill and strategy? Tennessee, coming off a hard-fought battle in the third-place game in Maui, displayed resilience in the first half against the Jayhawks. However, their 31% shooting percentage ultimately proved to be a stumbling block. Despite losing the rebound battle and facing offensive challenges, Tennessee's Santiago Vescovi spearheaded the effort with 21 points, complemented by a noteworthy 13-point contribution off the bench from Jordan Ganey. As the Volunteers enter this matchup, their offensive strategy, heavily reliant on three-point shooting, presents both a strength and a vulnerability. While averaging 74 points per game, they have struggled with two-point shooting and second-chance opportunities. The defense, allowing an average of 61.5 points, has been formidable, emphasizing physical play and effective field goal percentage. On the other side of the court, the Tar Heels showcase their resilience with a spectacular second-half comeback, scoring 52 points and securing a near 50% shooting night in their recent victory. R.J. Davis led the charge with 30 points, while Harris and Ingram notched a double-double with 13 points and 10 boards. North Carolina boasts an impressive offensive record, averaging 85 points per game and dominating in the painted area. Their strategic prowess lies in low turnover rates, offensive rebounding, and effective ball handling, making them a formidable force. Defensively, allowing an average of 69 points, the Tar Heels have excelled in limiting second-chance opportunities and maintaining a robust presence in the paint. As the matchup unfolds, the betting perspective takes center stage. The assertion that the Tar Heels, with their newfound depth and recent victory over Arkansas, hold an edge at home is a compelling argument. Even without key player Ryan, the belief in North Carolina's ability to prevail is strong. The spread, laying just a bucket, underscores the confidence in the Tar Heels. So the North Carolina Tar Heels to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Shifting attention to the total pick, the initial assessment of a low total due to Tennessee's defensive prowess is challenged. Despite losses to top-tier teams, the belief persists that Tennessee can contribute significantly to the scoring, reducing their dependency on defense alone. Both teams' fast-paced playing styles, evident in their quick average time per possession, suggest a game with ample scoring opportunities. North Carolina's track record of playing at a high tempo, especially at home, further supports the expectation of an elevated game pace. The projection leans towards a higher-scoring affair, dismissing the notion of a slow-paced, defensive struggle. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical vs. Virginia The Atlantic Coast Conference Southeastern Conference Challenge unfolds with great anticipation as the 14th-ranked Texas Agricultural and Mechanical Aggies embark on a journey to face Virginia in a midweek clash. Fresh off a hard-fought victory against Iowa State in the ESPN Events Invitational, the Aggies demonstrated their resilience, securing a 73-69 win as plus 3.5 underdogs. On the other side, the Cavaliers managed to narrowly escape West Virginia's clutch in the Fort Myers tip-off, prevailing 56-54 but falling short against the spread as minus 9.5 favorites. Transitioning from a string of games alternating between home and neutral courts, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical faces yet another road challenge after their triumphant battle against Iowa State. 
Their offensive prowess takes center stage, exemplified by Solomon Washington's pivotal 18-point contribution in the recent victory. Despite adopting a deliberate pace, the Aggies manage an impressive 79 points per game, thanks in part to their adept offensive rebounding, averaging 18 per contest. With a disciplined ball-handling approach, only turning over the ball 9.1 times per game, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical showcases efficiency but struggles with perimeter shooting, hitting only 28.8% from three-point range and 43.9% overall. Defensively, the Aggies prove formidable, limiting opponents to 69 points per game, with a particular stronghold in the paint that restricts adversaries to 41.2% shooting from the floor. However, vulnerabilities arise in defending the three-pointer and sending opponents to the free-throw line, areas that could be exploited by the Cavaliers in the upper upcoming matchup. Virginia, fresh off a rebound victory against West Virginia following their first season loss, returns home aiming to maintain an unblemished record in front of their fans. Renowned for their defensive prowess, the Cavaliers boast impressive statistics, allowing only 54 points per game and holding opponents to 35.4% shooting from the field, 29% from beyond the arc, and a mere 13.3 free throw attempts. While their offensive strategy revolves around optimizing each possession, led by Reese B. 12 points per game. Virginia faces challenges in free throw efficiency, converting at a 66.7% rate. Their low turnover rate of 8.3 per game provides ample opportunities, but the struggle on the boards, averaging minus 4.3 rebounds per game, poses a potential Achilles heel against the Aggies' dominant rebounding presence. As the clash unfolds, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical's deliberate pace and proficiency in second chance scoring set the stage for a strategic battle. The Aggies sturdy defense aims to contain the Cavaliers, who, despite the home advantage, must grapple with the Aggies' resilience and recent success against strong defensive teams. Having met only once before in 1962, where the Aggies secured a narrow 60-59 victory, the upcoming matchup marks the first time the Cavaliers encounter a ranked opponent this season. While Virginia's defense earns them home court advantage, the Aggies present a formidable challenge with their tested defense and recent victory over Iowa State. Acknowledging Virginia's elite defense, the Aggies, potentially the more talented team, emerge as a formidable underdog. Battle-tested and resilient, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical is poised to emerge victorious here, adding an intriguing element to the Atlantic Coast Conference Southeastern Conference Challenge. So the Texas Agricultural and Mechanical Aggies to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Delving into the team's playing styles, both Texas Agricultural and Mechanical and Virginia favor a deliberate pace, ranking low nationally in adjusted tempo and average offensive possession length. The defensive stronghold of both teams, evident in Virginia's impressive 54 points allowed per game, suggests a challenging night for the Aggies' offense, particularly in their struggle with three-point shooting. Texas Agricultural and Mechanicals and Efficiency from Beyond the Arc, ranking number 297 in three-point percentage, poses a potential hurdle against Virginia's robust pack line defense. The Aggies' reliance on rebounding further underscores the importance of dominating the boards against a Cavaliers team struggling in that department. Despite Texas agricultural and mechanical's tendency to send opponents to the free throw line, Virginia's own struggles and free throw efficiency may mitigate this potential advantage. However, the Aggies' arrival in Charlottesville with some injuries may play into Virginia's strategy of slowing down the pace, capitalizing on defensive strengths. The meticulous defensive planning and the deliberate offensive strategies of both Texas agricultural and mechanical and Virginia suggest a game that will unfold slowly, denying spectators the expectation of high scoring action. In essence, a defensive-oriented game looms, as both teams are known for their deliberate approach. Anticipate a low-scoring affair with neither team surpassing 62 points. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Duke vs. Arkansas, in what promises to be a riveting clash within the Atlantic Coast Conference Southeastern Conference Challenge, basketball enthusiasts eagerly anticipate the showdown between the formidable number 7 Duke Blue Devils and the tenacious Arkansas Razorbacks on Wednesday night. The Duke Blue Devils, riding high on a recent home victory over Southern Indiana with an 80-62 scoreline, find themselves slightly off the mark in covering the substantial 36-and-a-half-point spread as favorites. Meanwhile, the Arkansas Razorbacks faced adversity in the battle for Atlantis, concluding with two consecutive losses and securing a fourth-place finish. Their most recent defeat came at the hands of number 14 UNC, succumbing to a 87-72 scoreline as three-and-a-half-point underdogs. Duke's journey this 
season has been marred only by a single setback, a commendable 78-73 loss to the formidable Arizona squad. Apart from this, the Blue Devils have effortlessly sailed through their initial five encounters, securing victories over Dartmouth, Michigan State, Bucknell, and LaSalle. Notably, Duke exhibited dominance in their latest triumph against Southern Indiana, erasing a first-half deficit to ultimately clinch an 80-62 win. Kyle Filipowski emerged as a key player in this contest, contributing a stellar double-double performance with 21 points and 14 rebounds. Conversely, the Razorbacks of Arkansas embarked on a 4-1 run in their initial five games, with their lone loss coming at the hands of UNC Greensboro by a narrow margin of 78-72. Despite a subsequent triumph over Stanford, Arkansas faced a formidable challenge in a hard-fought 84-79 loss to Memphis. The Razorbacks demonstrated resilience in the second half against the Tigers, boasting a 33-24 rebounding advantage, albeit hampered by 18 turnovers. Arkansas faced another setback in their recent clash against North Carolina, relinquishing a halftime lead of 38-35 to succumb to a 87-72 defeat. The absence of leading scorer Tramon Mark in this upcoming contest poses a significant challenge for the Razorbacks, necessitating the exploration of alternative offensive sources. Furthermore, this matchup marks Duke's inaugural real road test in an environment that may prove to be hostile at Bud Walton. Despite Arkansas possessing undeniable talent, their recent struggles, reflected in a disappointing 1-6 against the spread record, underscore their failure to meet expectations. The team's reliance on wing scorers, mostly transfers, and a solitary inside presence in Brazil has yet to yield the desired cohesion. Coach Musselman's ongoing lineup adjustments, including the benching of second leading scorer Call of Battle, exemplify the team's search for the right chemistry. In contrast, Duke enters the contest with seasoned players such as Filipowski and Proctor, both of whom contemplated NBA ventures before opting to fortify the Blue Devils lineup. Jeremy Roach's wealth of experience positions him as a reliable leader capable of navigating Duke's offense even in the face of a potentially hostile atmosphere. Mark Mitchell, a tenacious inside player, is poised to neutralize any perceived advantage held by Trevon Brazil, leaving Arkansas with a glaring absence of an effective matchup against the formidable Filipowski. Duke's offensive prowess is underscored by the fact that four of their players average more than 11 points per game, spearheaded by the dynamic forward, Kyle Filipowski, averaging an impressive of 19 points per game, Filipowski epitomizes the centerpiece of a Duke squad that boasts a 50.7% field goal percentage, ranking 20th nationally. In contrast, the Razorbacks languish at 169th in field goal percentage, converting 45.2% of their shots. Duke's commitment to disciplined basketball, coupled with an aversion to sending Arkansas to the free throw line, positions them favorably to maintain a lead with multiple possessions. Having observed Arkansas closely during their Bahamas stint, the perceived sloppiness in their gameplay raises concerns. The narrow escape in the Stanford game, ultimately secured in double overtime, highlights potential vulnerabilities. In contrast, Duke's polished performance at this juncture in the season positions them as formidable contenders, poised to outclass Arkansas convincingly. So the Duke Blue Devils to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Expressing apprehension about Arkansas's scoring capabilities, the lack of a consistent go-to-scorer becomes a glaring concern. This deficiency could prove detrimental against a defensively stout Duke team ranked 28th in defensive efficiency, conceding just 95 points per 100 possessions. Duke's strategic approach, characterized by a middle-of-the-pack pace at 69.2 possessions per 40 minutes, indicates a likelihood of a game that stays below the projected total. The Blue Devils' recent trend of playing to the under in four of their last five road games further supports this analysis. Anticipating a reliance on robust defense, strategic scoring opportunities, and fundamental play under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.